Hello and welcome to another episode of the Bryce Side. Today we are en route to Healy's Cider Farm to do some pumpkin carving, which is a really fun event uh, just on the cusp of Halloween. But en route we have stopped at Cornwall Gold to have a delicious cooked breakfast because I believe that they serve some of their breakfasts on a shovel. So let's go check it out. Just entering Cornwall Gold here. There is like a little map here so you can get your bearings. It's basically what it is. It's like a big, um, sort of like, I don't know, I want to say, it's like a jewellery shop. Is it like a jewellery shop, Mama Bear? Yeah. Kind of like a jewellery shop, isn't it? But also like an attraction that you can visit. We've been There's here There's some before. heritage stuff. Yeah, we have been here before. We'll leave a link in the description. You can pan for gold. You can yeah, and there is some... the gold panning, by the way. But yeah, what I'll do, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see our video of Cornwall Gold, which we did... Oh, a few months ago, wasn't it? Maybe a year ago. Hey. Also, yeah. you can stuff up teddies. Yeah, yes, you can. That's right. You, yes, you can. It's similar to build a bear, isn't it? Yeah. So there's a few things you can do with the kids. Yeah, it's worth popping here if you've never been to Cornwall Gold before. They do do good food. Yes, I was going to say, we are here specifically. Before we go pumpkin carving, we are here. We are here to get a breakfast. Yeah, definitely more than a shop. This is just on the... Uh, entry here in the main building all sorts of like heritage stuff here basically like i said it's worth it's worth uh oh look at it down there hmm. i'd like to have a walk down there but basically yeah it's um it's, it's definitely worth coming here if you've uh, never been to cornwall gold before here we go if you want to find the cornish pantry it is just off of the shop so let's head in and find a table plenty of room have a look at it so basically it's not table service here you order up at the bar up at the counter there you put your order in and you pick up your condiments over there where that gent is and here is their breakfast menu shelly and i are both going to go for the famous large cornish breakfast which sounds amazing there is the standard size and then you go down to like your vegetarian options eggs benedict eggs royale nice um and that's yeah so basically on oh, they do um pancakes i think the kiddos are going to have some pancakes And here it is, the large Cornish breakfast here, hogs pudding, hash browns, just everything on there that just looks absolutely delicious. And beans in a ramekin, I do like that. Yeah, the shovel, I think that's very unique. I've never seen, I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen a breakfast served on a shovel before. Shelly got the same. Yeah, that's right, yeah. They're getting your, um, AJ's just going mad. <laughs> Let's dig in. All done with breakfast. Highly recommend the pantry here at uh, Cornwall Gold. Let's head to Healy's. Okay, we can't get out. There's no gate there. I think we might have to go back through the restaurant. We have made an error upon exiting this place. We're stuck. We're stuck at Cornwall Gold. Okay, let's try this way. Over this bridge. Over this river. Can we get out? Oh, really? So we really are stuck. Man. Okay, well, there has to be a way out. Yes, we did it. All right, we have made it to Healy's Cider Farm for the pumpkin carving. I'm not going to document the place too much. We have been here several times on the channel, so I'll leave any relevant links in the description if, if you want to see those videos. But really, we're just going to concentrate on what we're here to do, which is... Car coming in. Which is the pumpkin carving. God, oh, you can just smell all the uh, apples, all the cider in the air here at um, Healy's. Amazing. The location of the shop has changed, doesn't it? Or a few months ago, or a couple of years ago, even. This is yes. now the shop, isn't it? Yes. And what was the shop? Is now you can do drink samples. Drink samples and stuff, yeah. So this is actually now the shop here at Healy's. Um, just show some. I like these. Um, <laughs> I like these Christmas um, jumpers. They're quite cool. So basically, yeah. So some merch here for uh, Rattler Cider. And then £10 for a 
metal rattler cup. But yeah, basically, yeah, this is where you can buy all of the products. Right, Shelly's going to take care of business and booking. We did pre-book last night online. So one of the things that's new here this year at Healy's is the Kay's Cider House. So they've been doing a bit of an expansion um, and it includes their car showroom and a brand new apple pressing facility. Hmm, so okay. we might go and check that out whilst yeah. we're here because that's new. Yeah, we've got a little bit of time to kill before the tractor, haven't we? Yeah, but that's so fine because there's plenty here to do. Yeah, so let's have a look at the Kay's Cider House, all right? These tanks can hold the juice from one million apples. Each of these tanks? Wow! A million, a million apples! Each of these fermentation tanks can hold the juice from, from one million apples. Cool! In total, there is more than one kilometre of stainless steel pipework connecting the tanks to our production hall. Amazing! Right, so here we go, the Kay's Cider House. And there's all the cars, because these cars, they used to be in like the main entrance way, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they have done a bit of shuffling around, yeah. Right, let's, uh, let's head in. Ah, so we've got to scan the QR code on the map that we've been given. With the door open. Which should allow us access. How does it work? How does it work? Ah, there we go. All right, this way. So there's a little bit of information here about Donald Healy, CBE 1898 to 1988. He was born on the 3rd of July, 1898 at Woodbine Cottage in Perranporth. Amazing. And it says here, I'm just scanning down through, survived this crash at Doncaster Racecourse. <laughs> it says down here, I was reading that he established the Perifone Radio Company in 1920. All right, and I believe, yeah, he was like some sort of some sort of like racing driver or something like that. I don't know. There's lots of information about Donald Healy. And here we have the Healy Silverstone. Uh, it's an open two-seater road slash racing sports car, or in the USA, it would be referred to as a roadster. It was made by Donald Healy or by the Donald Healy Motor Company. <laughs> there it is. Nice piece of kit. We'll look around the front there. Okay, says so we've got the Austin Healy Sprite. The Austin Healy Sprite is a small open sports car that was announced to the press in Monte Carlo uh, in 1958. That's a very cool vehicle. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's a very cool vehicle with its like racing stripes there. got this awesome looking boat. What the heck is going on in there? So there's no information by this car, but this is the one uh, that Shelly, since <laughs> Shelly just said to me off camera, this is the one that she would like to have. You, you want this car? Yeah, it is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. Do you like that car, Tilly? AJ, do you like that green and white car? Okay, good chat. So through those doors, I can, so obviously the press house upstairs, I can see the stairs, but just uh, for a little bit of information for you guys, there is a lift if you would struggle with stairs. Okay, heading up to the press house. Oh, you've got to watch your foot in there because you could trip if you weren't uh, paying attention. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Gonna let it roll over the top. Here we go. So upon entry, there's like a tasting area there, a counter where you can do some tasting. I like this seating. Look at all those apples out there. Amazing. Heading into the press house. God, I really smell all those apples.
Look, he has a lot of bottles. Bottling hall and kegging line. And there's a little photo up there if you just want to get in behind uh, that uh, board there. Tilly and AJ, do you want to go in behind? AJ? <laughs> quieter in this uh, section. So some super interesting bonus footage there. We're going to have a little mill around because we've got about an hour to kill before we get on the tractor. So we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So we made it to the pumpkin patch. This looks awesome, doesn't it? What do you think, Charbel? It looks amazing. There's a lot of pumpkins. Yeah. Nice. So we've prepaid and the kids can obviously pick a pumpkin each. It can be small, medium or large. It doesn't make any difference on size. We can pick a pumpkin, pumpkin if we choose or, or we can have some cider because that's what we did last time, didn't yes. we? We actually asked for it to be a bottle yeah, and we took the bottle think? home with us, yeah. Yeah, all right, well, let's have a little look. 
Look at this little photo op. I thought I would just come up here quickly before uh, all the other people, because the tractor was full, so there's quite a few people up here with us, which is obviously good. I picked my pumpkin at Healy Side Front, so you can sit down there on the hay bale. And I think we've got about 25 minutes, the gent said, before the tractor comes back. Another little photo op. We've got Tilly there. And we've got AJ. Oh no, hang on. Oh, AJ's over there. This is my strategy to look for big pumpkin. So you're up high to look for a big pumpkin. Hello. Oh, you've got like a big crack on your head. Bet that hurt. And we've got some beautiful views here from the field. Pumpkin patch is uh, just there. Some lovely views over the fields. Which one of you? Oh, oh wow. That's, uh, that's going to take some carving. Yeah. I got a tiny one. You got a tiny one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there it is. I picked my pumpkin at Healy Cider Farm. All right, look at me. Say cheese. Look at me and say cheese. So we recommend, I think, do you have to book this? You have to pre-book it? I think you have to pre-book it. Yeah. You, you, you could turn up and see on the day if they've got availability. Yeah. Um, but I would recommend pre-booking online and it's £10 a person. Yeah. Um, adult or child. Yeah. And that includes your tractor ride and picking your pumpkin or your pint. Whichever yeah, whichever way you choose. do it, yeah. Right, all done at the pumpkin patch. The tractor is returning with another trailer load of people. So when that's emptied out, we're gonna obviously hop back on and uh, whoa, oh, <laughs> and head back to the uh, farm. Well, we're on the farm, but you know what I mean. into the rattler bar so that we can carve our uh, pumpkins. Oh my goodness. Right, so the lady has bought this tray of tools. We've got some pens, some like cutting implements, obviously knives, spoons for scooping. What we're gonna do, because this pumpkin is so ginormous, we're gonna take this one home and carve because we will literally be here all day if we carve that one. And actually we want the, uh, like the, you know, the fruit out of it so that we can cook with it. Uh, so what we are gonna do, however, is we are gonna carve the teeny tiny one. That will not take forever. It certainly won't. So in lieu of the pumpkin, Shelley and I got a cider each. Well, I've got the original sort of alcoholic uh, cider, but you, being the driver, wrap the zero. Yeah, I'm going to give it a try and I'll let you know. Interesting. I have no idea what Matilda's doing. She's just like being very witch-like. How is the zero alcohol rattler? That's really nice. Do you taste the difference? Yeah. Can I have a taste? You wouldn't really know that that was not alcoholic. Hmm. Got to be very careful with it, okay? Okay, this one. Yeah, you, you can taste there's no alcohol in it, I think. It's, it's very tasty, yeah, I like it. Yeah. I'll stick with this one. 
So AJ has opted for more of a cyclops, hasn't he? He's got like a big round eye. Big, big yeah, he, round he eye. He wanted to do a monster pumpkin. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. So that's, that's his scary eye and his Ooh. scary mouth. I might give him a bit of an eyebrow. Eyebrow, yeah. So I'm just good, car good carving number there. I quite like carving pumpkins. Mm. I think you've done a really good job carving that like One cyclops. One-eyed, scary pumpkin monster. Yeah. Can I see AJ? Should I write AJ on it? Yeah. I I need to write behind it as well. Heading out. Oh my goodness, I'm stuck in the door. The pumpkin's so big. I know, the pumpkin is big. Okay, we did it. Well, we're going to leave the video there. I do highly recommend the uh, event here at, where are we? Healy. Yes. <laughs> I forgot where we were it's then. It's written massive. I'm it is written literally right in front of me. Do hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to do all the usual YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, smash the bell. Check us out on all of our socials at the Bryce side. So from us to you, cheers, cheers and gone. Day. Cheers and poop. Right, there's the end result of the big pumpkin, Matilda's pumpkin, and I think it's something from Among Us. If you're familiar with that like online game, I think it's Among Us, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Is that what it is? Don't there's... tell me I have nothing on. Yeah, you've literally got no clothes on, so you'll be off camera for this little take. But there we go. There is the finished pumpkin.